The writing is on the wall, and King Justin's time is coming to an end. Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. Justin Trudeau is in the hot seat, so to speak. Um, we've talked before on the channel about the likelihood of him stepping down that I believe personally he's going to step down before another election, but the tide's starting to turn. And I think that the writing is definitely on the wall that his days are numbered. And when we start to get into, uh, different journalists and different, uh, government funded medias now starting to kind of do a 180 spin a little bit, or at least start that, that 180 spin to, uh, maybe, I guess you could say calling out their once and great powerful leader. Uh, now they're starting to realize that again, the tide is starting to turn and the party for them may be over shortly as it's looking like whether we have an election in the fall, the spring, or I, I mean, even if Trudeau rides things out until 2025, we're definitely going to see different leadership in the next election whenever it happens. Uh, now, of course, moving over to Twitter, or X, or I guess whatever you call it now. I want to start with Pierre Polyev because we did a video earlier this week uh, talking about Justin Trudeau's embarrassing $1,000 head uh, fundraiser for the Liberal Party of Canada and the very low turnouts. But look at Pierre Polyev here as he's showing photos of, of his turnouts. I mean, look at this turnout to see Pierre Polyev versus that room of uh, sparsely populated people. Um, of course, coming out to cheer on the next candidate for Prime Minister of Canada. Again, folks, I am not a champion of Pierre Polyev. Um, I do like what he has to say. I do like that he's talking about getting rid of the carbon tax. Um, I, I've, again, I've met with him and spoke with him in person, and I tend to believe some of the things that he wants to say. I do have concerns when it comes to follow through, when it comes to what we are actually going to get as even though I've discussed with Pierre Polyev in the past, I don't know him personally, so I can't put my trust in an individual I don't know altogether. I do believe in terms of what we have of competent leadership moving forward that Pierre Polyev is probably the most competent at this time to lead the country to better days when it comes to carbon taxes, when it comes to our economy, when it comes to the housing market um, and affordability. I think that he's definitely got the reins uh, of control when it comes to getting us out of this rut that King Blackface has put us through over the last eight years. But even as we go through with Pierre Polyev, uh, you can see here more, more and more photos of all the people who come out to see him that are happy to see him, um, all different walks of life coming to see Pierre Polyev in, in droves. Um, you know, I question if the guy really is going to lose if there was an election moving forward as his polling right now suggests that he's at double digits over top of Justin Trudeau. Um, but Trudeau, of course, stepping down, Trudeau stepped down is hashtag trending right now on Twitter. And of course, if we go through that, you see, of course, the good old Pixar poster of Trudeau. I, I like this one. I'm a fan of this one personally. I think it's great. Um, of course, you can see it trending here. Trudeau stepped down. Uh, the winning continues. Recent polls show the trajectory Orange province of British Columbia is turning blue. Another win for Polyev, another loss for Trudeau. Of course, we've got Harper posts. Um, lots of different journalists now posting out, if you think Justin Trudeau is a traitor and should resign, sign the petition. Um, truer words have never been spoken. Um, I mean, it's, it's post after post after post. We just have all this, uh, all this negative press for Justin Trudeau. And again, with looming lockdowns, again, being touted that, that are coming our way on the horizon in the fall. Um, here's what I think folks, first off, if they call any more lockdowns, I, I don't think anybody's going to comply. I think you're going to have a very hard time convincing people the first time around, you know, people were skeptical of this virus. They didn't know much about it. Um, time has shown that, you know, there's new discoveries, there's new reports being published that say maybe it wasn't as severe as we were told. I, I really think you're going to have a hard time trying to sell people on the fear that was driven up so easily in the last lockdowns, um, that it's going to do nothing more than torpedo, uh, Trudeau out of office. If in fact he hasn't stepped down by that time, 
Um, but of course, what brings me to that is this article from Toronto 99 that Canadians are done with Justin Trudeau. Prime Minister may step down before the election. And this is again where I was talking about journalists who are now starting to kind of about pace on Justin Trudeau. And these are government funded journalists and journalist outlets. Now, what's important to remember is that, um, like I say about the lockdowns, like I say about the behaviors of Justin Trudeau throughout the last uh, eight years is that you should never forget. And I think that's what a lot of these outlets are starting to do is they're starting to kind of go into panic mode when they see Pierre Polyev touting to defund the CBC. Uh, and now with his numbers showing that he's more likely in a better state to be the next leader of Canada, a lot of these outlets are probably starting to worry again that the party is over, that their funding is going to be cut. So they're kind of like rats jumping the ship before it sinks, trying to hope that they can grab onto something in order to keep themselves afloat. Um, so it's very important that if Pierre does win an election, if he secures another election, we do not let these outlets uh, skate free from being scathed from this. Um, this article goes on as Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau continues to sink lower in the lower in the polls. Speculation is rampant that he may step down to avoid an embarrassing defeat to the Conservative Party in the next federal election. This is again back to the video I brought out last week talking about Justin stepping down as a result of pressure versus having the narcissism to run in another election. Now, don't get me wrong. This guy is a narcissist. Um, he's so full of himself. Uh, however, I, I don't think his party is going to allow him to sink the ship entirely in another election. But let's let's read on. Uh, Toronto 99 previously reported on speculation from the National Telegraph that Trudeau may call it quits before 2025. Now one of Trudeau's most trusted propaganda outlets, the Toronto Star, is suggesting that the Prime Minister's days are numbered. So why would the Toronto Star go against Justin Trudeau? Well, again, while they typically spin for him in his favour, I think, again, the rats on the sinking ship are starting to see that, well, days are numbered and their funding may run dry if they continue to smear Pierre Polyev, although I think the damage has already been done, um, especially when you think back to Pierre's conference about a week ago, a week and a half ago, where he said that it sounds like a CBC smear campaign. Um, I think these guys are in big trouble when it comes time to uh, take on a new leader. The Toronto Star article written by Ottawa correspondent Alex uh, Ballingal provides a damning analysis of the sitting prime minister. Citing a recent survey by Abacus Data, the article highlights now only the article highlights highlights how only 27% of Canadians want Trudeau to stay on as prime minister. 50 56%, sorry guys. 56% of Canadians now believe the prime minister needs to resign. Polling Canada asked on Twitter, should Justin Trudeau run again in the next election or step down? 56% are saying step down while 17 are unsure. Uh, the Toronto Star previously disobeyed its marching orders and published an article showing the internal strife within the Liberal caucus. Many Liberals MPs have been reported to be at their wits end with the Prime Minister. And again, we've talked about that in other videos. Uh, on top of that, Trudeau has lost his image of a family man after suffering a humiliating separation from his wife, which again, I've called out, I think that's a scam. The Prime Minister attempted to rebrand himself using the children as political props in subsequent Twitter posts. As such, Trudeau has been branded a potential uh, dandy for wearing pink and taking his teenage son to the Barbie movie. He was also criticized for allowing his daughter to dress like a provocative worker in another post. British newspapers such as The Telegraph have written damning reports on the Prime Minister, as was previously reported by Toronto 99. While Trudeau has not made a formal announcement stating he plans on stepping down, it may be his only way to save face, considering the rising popularity of Polyev and the Conservative Party of Canada. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is all speculation as to whether or not he'll step down. Um, maybe he just once again wants to follow in his father's footsteps. His father got divorced during his tenure as prime minister. He's the only prime minister aside from Justin to announce a divorce during his uh, tenure as prime minister. Uh, maybe now Justin calls it two for two and decides to step down just like his father did. Uh, time is going to tell. And the, the, the knives are going to be out, so to speak. I think when Parliament sits down in the fall for another session, I think we're going to see a little bit more pushback. Um, I think we're going to see a different sitting house. Um, but again, this is speculation. I've been wrong before. I, th things could go worse for Canada as Justin doubles down. 
Um, again, time is going to tell. We will be covering Parliament as it sits down um, later this fall. But again, I will state, I think Justin Trudeau is probably going to save face uh, and step down in the near future. I think that's on its way. I think it's coming. Um, what kind of challenge that's going to present for Pierre Polyev? If Justin Trudeau is no longer the face of the Liberal Party, it's tough to say uh, whoever they get to replace. I think that they've lost all credibility. I don't think they stand a snowball's chance in hell at this point um, in, in forming any kind of government. But again, I, I've been proven wrong before. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I want to hear from you. If it's your first time here, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell as we do go live every Sunday uh, except for long weekends here on the channel where we do the weekly wrap and uh, chat with the community. Um, I take your Q&A. We talk about all the stories we covered in the week past as well as everything that's coming forward. And uh, it's a good chance to kind of hang out and get to know each other. And I'm always happy to see new faces in there. So make sure to do that, folks. Join our small fringe minority. Get on board and have some fun with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one.